right. Okay, you guys are going to open up this virtual lab population and this document will open up. Uh, you guys are gonna click this link and it takes you to this virtual lab, okay? And there it is. I'm gonna show you guys how the setup works. It's very important that you guys have eyes up on the projector and not on your screen. So for the next five uh, minutes or so, or under, can everybody just please close their Chromebooks? Eyes on projector. One, two, three, everybody close your Chromebooks, thank you. Eyes on the projector, this is gonna be screencast, I'll throw this on the Google Classroom. Okay, so the first thing you guys gotta notice is that these three test tubes have food in them. And we're gonna be dealing with a species called paramecium, or two different species of paramecium. They're single-celled organisms, like amoebas. They're eukaryotic, so they're not bacteria. They're much larger than bacteria. And so I have one species called paramecium caudatum. Paramecium caudatum stock culture. And they're gonna be in this little uh, vial, and then the other one is paramecium aurelia. Paramecium aurelia stock culture. So you're gonna click the first one by clicking on that and then drag it over to the first test tube. And so that's this species in that test tube. The second species goes into the second test tube. And guess what goes into the third? Both of them. So I and click and drag. All right, now that you've done that, everything else is going to be over at the microscope. You click on the microscope. By the way, all these procedures are right here. The only thing that is going to be different, and I'm going to help you guys out, is anytime it asks you to write in your journal or put it, uh, data in a table, you guys are going to go back to this document right here. This document right here is what you guys are going to be working on. Okay? And so, you guys are going to come up here. You're going to click the microscope slides. And then you're going to click the sample. Click and drag this over here. And then you're going to be able to look and count how many of the paramecium caudatum there are. And you're going to put that right here in this data table where it says paramecium caudata grown alone. There's one. Okay, then you guys are going to go back, grab the other one. That's the paramecium aurelia. There's one of them. You're going to put that where it's grown alone by itself. Now the third slide, right, the third slide is both of these two um, columns. So the third slide, they're both together in the same mixture. And so there's one caudatum and one aurelia. So you'll go one and one. Yeah. That's, that's slide number three. That's slide three, not how many there are. And so when you're done, you're going to clear the slides. Then you're going to click the calendar, and two days have advanced. And so now, set up the microscope slides again. So you take one milliliter out each time. And so what you're looking at is a population density. So now, you're looking at the caudatum by itself. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got to count. If it helps you, you can click this grid on, and that way when it gets to be really a lot of them, uh, it helps to just look at each square by itself. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, you'll go over here. There's six of the caudatum. You'll go back. There's four of the aurelia. And then together, you got one, two, three, four, five caudatum. Oops, sorry, five of caudatum. And then how many of the aurelia? One, two, three of the paramecium aurelia in the mixed culture where they're together. And then go back, clear the slides. Now we're at day four, and you're gonna set up more microscope slides. You're gonna fill out this entire data table. And when you're done, you're gonna click here to show how to make chart one. Click here to show how to make chart two. You, I'm gonna help you guys with those graphs as we're doing it, because that's gonna be the hardest part, I think. And then after you have your two graphs, you're going to use that data to answer these questions. None of your data goes in here. None of it. Do not use this table. 
and do not answer any questions in this journal. It's all in this Google Doc, okay?